Hello, and welcome to the very first playing of Mind Your Own Business. Mind Your Own Business is a memory game where two players can play, and the th overall theme is how working memory and long-term memory can prove to be a helpful factor, and ways you can improve your memory, things that hurt your memory, and certain techniques you yourself can use to help with your memory. So first off, we'll read the rules right here. Uh, the game rules, read this first. Tragedy has struck, and you and your friend have gotten into a terrible rock climbing accident. You have both been rushed to the hospital, but are greeted with terrible news. You have both have catastrophic brain damage. Oh no. Due to the miracles of science, the best doctors in the world have the ability to repair your brain damage. Although, there is a slight catch. The doctor is only able to repair either your working memory or your long-term memory. This may sound awful, but not all hope is lost. Your brain is now your brain now has the ability to have completely working memory or long-term memory. Make your choice wisely, as life will not be easy without both of them. Good luck. So, the rules are, this game is intended for two players. Each player announces their birthday. Whoever is younger in the working memory and whoever is older has long-term memory. They either have extreme working memory or extreme long-term memory. To begin, each player rolls a single die as he goes first. The objective of the game is to get as many points as possible before you reach the finish line. You can earn points by succeeding in a life event and or getting a memory improvement. You can lose points, however, by either failing at life events or landing on an uh-oh square. You cannot go into the negative. The low score you can have is zero. Landing on a memory technique where it may grant you a memory technique you can use in an event square that proves to be too difficult. Each player takes turn rolling a six-sided die and moves through the board. Each player has to, is in charge in how many points they have. After you read the card and then uh oh, or improvement, place on the bottom of the deck. Each player with most points wins the game. So as you can see, oops, sorry. As you can see, you have two players at the starting line, and then you have a uh oh card pile, an improvement card pile, technique card pile, and event card pile. So each of the spaces are indicated by an emblem, and then you go through. So the materials is one mind your own business board, as seen here. Uh, a coin, I'll have to grab. Actually, wait, I have a coin right here. So, uh, one six sided die, two player tokens, and four deck specific cards. So, I already pre made a working memory and long term memory. So, I have no one to play with at the moment because they're all busy with finals. So, I'll be playing with myself. So, we're going to roll the dice, see who goes first. Uh, this will be the working memory going first. They rolled a five, and long term rolled a two. So, working memory will go first. We're going to roll the dice. Two. And working memory will be red. One, two. Land on an event card. And it says. Starting a new job can be quite difficult in order to recall everyone's office name. If you have any the memory technique cards, you learn everything in a snap and gain 20 points. If you do not flip a coin, if heads, you gain 10 points. If tails, you lose 10 points. So. All right, I got heads. I guess I remember the name. So I put down 10 points. And then I take the event card and put on the bottom deck. All right, long-term memory's turn. Roll a six. Pretty good. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, they get a technique. And these are cards that you keep. So you got the uh, phonics system. The phonics system, each of the digits from zero to nine are represented with a constant, constant sound. These constant sounds are then combined with vowels and code numbers into words, which are more meaningful and thus easier to remember than numbers. Uh, this would be from Higby's, Kenneth H L. Higby's, Your Memory, How It Works, and How to Improve It. So, Long Term gets to keep this card, and then when they land on a certain event card, that then they can use it to uh, help them proceed the event if it is too difficult. So, no points are given, but short term work, working memory, sorry. They rolled a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Another event card for working memory. <clears throat> Going on vacation, you wander in nearby forest to explore. Everything seems nice until you are lost. If you have working memory, you're able to recall each step and make the safe, make it back safe. Move a space 
And if you are long term in the imagery ability card, you can mentally remember to campsite, how to get back. If you do not, you get lost and lose three turns. Well, we have working memory, so that means we can move a space. And um, you do not get to activate the next card, so the improvement card you would not be able to get, so you just move a space ahead. All right, time for long term. Four. One, two, three, four. Ooh, another technique. Very nice. Gonna help. Uh, rhyming. The noun rhyme with numbers they represent, so it's easy to remember the nouns represent each number. So it's another little helpful card to get for an event card. Get more points. Another six for working memory. Man, that's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, we got a technique for working memory. Remember faces and names. Remembering names and faces is paired associate task. In most situations, we see the face and recall the name. The face serves as a cue. The name serves the response. It's a pretty good card for working memory. Well, for long term, ooh, a one event card. But now we have two technique cards, so hopefully we'll get a good card that will help us. Party time at the local casino to play some blackjack. Good thing you can keep up with the action of counting cards. If you have working memory, gain 20 points. If you have long-term memory, now the peg system, gain 20 points. If not, lose a turn. Well, shoot. I don't think we have the peg system. We have the phonics system and the rhyming system. So those don't really go well with uh, card counting. So long-term loses a turn. We'll put these cards in the bottom of the deck. All right, so working memory is cruising along here. Two, one, two. All right, we get an improvement card. It's pretty good. Living in Alaska has its perks. Fresh fish. Fish contains rich, enormous, rich amounts of omega-3, which helps your memory. Gain 10 points. All right, so we got some fish. Yummy, yummy. And working memory gets 10 points. All right, so then long-term loses a point because they were counting cards and didn't do so well. So now short-term working memory. Sorry, it keeps doing that. Gets a another turn. One two three four uh-oh these are gonna be hurtful cards for us drink and celebration of a promotion party too hard maybe a bit too hard lose 20 points oh no i guess over oh, under one of the references let's see if i can find it uh, surprising factors that mess with your memory one of them was alcohol and if you drink too much alcohol that can really not be good for your body in general, but then also it hurts your memory. So we're just gonna cross these two out. And we have no points, because we drink too much. All right, long term gets to go next. Roll the dice, ooh, a six, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, improvement! Yay, maybe we can get some points back. Your friend has invited you to go to a comedy club. You feel like you cracked rib because how hard you laughed. Gain 10 points and advance two spaces. It's pretty good. So long term finally gets a couple points, takes the lead, and they get to move two spaces. All right, working memory is going to go now. Five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, improvement. Your three grandparents gave you a new planner to organize your life. Gain 10 points. All right, thank you, grandparents. So now the score is tied, uh, working memory is a bit ahead, and then long term is making its way up. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Another improvement for uh, working memory. Put that phone down. Focus one thing at a time. Quitting multitasking has helped your memory gain 10 points. All right, getting some more points. It's always nice. And now, working memory's turn. Two points. One, two. Ooh, all right, we get another technique. Perspective, sorry. Perspective remembering. One strategy for handling problems with habitual remembering is to incorporate the intended action in the regular stream of daily activities. So, it's a note, two techniques we now have for our working memory. All right, ooh, one. Uh-oh, that's not good. 
Eating foods that are high in saturated fat, not eating healthy foods have affected you. Eat your vegetables. Lose 10 points. So I think it was one of the articles that I read, that I used, was about how eating saturated fats that are high in sugar and corn syrup, you know, if eating too much of it isn't really good for your health in general, but then also could affect your memory. So we lose 10 points for long term. Not good. Let's gotta eat more vegetables. All right, working memory's turn. One. All right, another improvement for working memory. Sleeping in, going on a hike, seeing a movie, how relaxing, gain 20 points. Um, yeah, it says that not stressing out is always a good thing, but being able to relax also helps with your memory, regardless of having working memory or long term. So working memory you would get 20 points. Excuse me. Long term, two point, two spaces. Event card, haven't seen one of these in a while. Let's see what happens. You go on a walk and bump into a friend. They offer you a chance for a life-changing career. Unfortunately, neither of you have a way to write down the address. If you have working memory, you can recall it by the time that you lose it. Gain 20 points. And an extra turn. If you have long-term memory in the phonics system card, gain 20 points and move ahead of space. Otherwise, lose a turn. Ooh, however, I'm pretty sure we have the phonics system. We do. All right. That means we gain 20 points and move ahead of space. So are you able to remember uh, their phone number because of the phonics system in each of the digits represent by a sound. So that's really good for us. Way to go. All right. Uh, 20 points. Ah, sorry. 20 points. All right. Game is tied. Very exciting. Working memory's turn. Roll four. One, two, three. Uh-oh. This might be it. Going to an all-night movie marathon before work the next day? Who needs sleep anyway? You have two choices. Either lose 30 points or miss a turn. Or miss a turn and don't lose any points. Ooh, well, that would make us zero versus 30. So I think we're gonna, just going to bite the bullet on this and definitely just miss a turn. It doesn't matter who finishes this first. Uh, not getting any sleep is very, very bad. Um, can definitely not only affect your everyday health and your attitude, but it also affects your memory as well. So, working memory is going to lose a turn. Long term's turn. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Event card. All right. Time for change. Time to change oil in your car. Not having enough money to get it done, you try and do it yourself. If you have long term memory, you recall watching your father showing it when you were younger. Move ahead one space. If you have working memory and the rhyming card, you remember the rhyming steps. Move ahead one space. If not, lose a turn in 10 points. Well, we do have long term, and we are able to remember. So move ahead one space. Not any points, but then again, it's better than not losing any. So now we're at the same place as short term. Ooh. Short term loses a uh, turn because we decided to stay up all night. So time for long term. One. Ooh, improvement. Let's see what happens. You get pressured into, oops, sorry. You get pressured into going to a meet and greet session, but end up making a friend, gain 10 points. Um, this honestly a little bit, this honestly surprised me a little bit because it said that in one of the uh, articles that making a friend actually helps your memory. So you should probably go out there and make some friends if you're having a hard time remembering stuff. So now long term has 40 against 30. Getting pretty close to the end here already. So short term, let's turn three, one, two, three. All right, we get a technique card. Imagery ability. Visual imagery also plays a central role into the mnemonic system because the associations are made are usually made visually. Yeah. So that's another card. We only have two event spaces left, so hopefully, oops, sorry, that didn't count. Hopefully then we'll land on some of the event cards and get some more points. Five for a long term. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, another technique card. Blank story. First, form a visual image for each item to be learned. Second, associate the image for each item with the image of the next item. Thus, you form a visual association between the first two items, then between the second and third items, then between the third and fourth items. So, um, ugh, tongue twister. All right. Short term. Three. One, two, three. Another technique for short term. Location to aid memory. Locations may provide us with a systematic way to searching memory. All right, 
Hopefully I get a one. Oh, they do! Oh man! This is exciting. Long term events. Ooh, this might be a game breaker. You have been working at your company for almost five years. You have sat in the same desk, same view, and same schedule. Your boss's significant other introduces himself to you, but you can't recall their name. If you have long term memory, you avoid embarrassment and recall. Move ahead two spaces. If you have working memory and visualization technique, move ahead two spaces. If you're not a camera, the name come embarrassed, nothing happens. Well, nothing happened. We just gained points. So long term is finished. Short term needs to roll a one or lose the game. Oh, rolled six. So they went to the finish line. No points were given. So, in the long scheme of things, it looks like long term has won by 10 points. And working memory has won by 30. I've lost by 30. Which does not make one better than the other. Um, for assignment purposes, I will now go through each of the event cards and read them aloud. Event card. Spelling Bee Contest. Your local bar is offering airline tickets to anywhere in the world and your team for you and your team if you win. If you have the link story card or space it out card, your team wins and gets 30 points. If you do not roll a die, if you get a six, you win the trip, otherwise lose a turn. Time for your annual checkup with your doctor. It seems that you have a deficiency in vitamin B12. Your doctor urges you to take more because it can attrib attribute to your memory. If you have perspective remembering card, you gain 20 points. If you do not roll the dice. If you get a four or higher, remember to take your vitamins when you wake up and advance two spaces. If you get four or lower, you forget to take your vitamins and lose a turn. Congress has revised the driver's test and you all have to pass a 100 question exam. Time to study. If you have the space it out card, you move ahead five spaces. If you do not flip the coin of heads, you cram and barely pass the exam. You are on a game show. Not only are you in the game show, you somehow made it to the final round. They show you a picture of an old artist, and if you win, you have to tell them the name. And to win, you have to tell them the name. If you have long term memory, flip a coin of heads, recall, and win 40 points. If you have working memory and remembering faces and name card, you win 30 points. If not, you lose a turn in 20 points. You are at a flea market with your family. Recall seeing a very rare stamp, and when you were younger, it has long term mem if you have long term memory, gain 10 points. If you have working memory, lose a turn. Oops, that's upside down. Starting a new job became quite difficult remembering everyone's office and names. If you have any of the memory technique cards, you learn everything in a snap and gain 20 points. If you do not flip a coin of heads, you gain 10 points. And, uh, gain 10 points of tails, you lose 10 points. Okay, so we already went through all those, so we don't have to worry about those. Techniques, we have the PEG system. The PEG system is a mental filing system consisting of a series of pre- memorized concrete nouns. The concrete nouns are not at, are arbitrarily selected, rather they are selected in such a way to con correspond meaningfully with numbers. <clears throat> Excuse me. Visualization technique. To make the visual association effective, your mem imagery must also be visual and involve association. The two items that you are associating should be pictured as interacting in some way with each other. One of them doing something or one with the other rather than merely sitting next to each other, one on top of the other. <clears throat> Excuse me. Space it out. Spacing out learning material over time rather than climbing all at once. Very effective. Personal experience. Love this card. All right. I'm going to look at the improved cards. I'm only going to go until uh, we start some other ones. Uh, you pick up a new recreational develop. You pick up a new recreation, developing a new skill increases. Your memory power gain 20 points an extra turn. Oops, wrong pile. Uh, you do more crossword and Sudoku in the morning papers when you wake up. Gain 10 points. Uh, these numbers associated next to the improvement cards are with what, uh, on my reference list, what website I got them from and what article. And it said that working on recreational activities is helpful. Nothing like a good night's sleep. Good night's rest, sorry, to make up to make you sharp as an X. Gain 10 points and gain an extra turn. You and your friends sign up for the gym. You really begin to feel the blood working in your system and some, with some hard training. Gain 10, gain 10 points. Oh man, grabbed way too many. I think these are all techniques already that we went through. So we're gonna put those aside and finally have the rest of the uh-oh cards. We didn't hit many of these, so. You got in a car accident, luckily no one, sorry, I'm sorry. 
no one was harmed, but it really freaked you out and you were almost killed, lose 20 points. Um, being in very, very stressful situations can almost permanently ruin your, not ruin your memory, but definitely harm it. So definitely avoid those stressful situations. Uh, your company you are working for is starting to lay off some people and you feel you might be next. The anxiety is nearly crippling. Lose 30 points. Like I said, a lot of these uh, deal with stress because I feel like I cannot, no pun intended, stress enough how much stress and anxiety can really affect your memory. <clears throat> Incidental forgetting. Suddenly, you forgot. Lose 10 points. You just forgot. <laughs> um... College finals are nearly putting some stress in your life, causing you to forget and simple things lose 10 points. Take a nasty fall from a ski trip and you hit your head quite bad. Didn't you learn a lesson from your first time? Lose three points and miss a turn. Um, having some injury to your head area would definitely cause some memory loss, you know, if you're lucky. Uh, drink, yep. Yeah. So we already went through all the uh, cards. Here is my list of references. I will put those up with the video, the rules, the board game. Um, I really hope you enjoyed playing this quick version of Mind Your Own Business. A lot of the event cards I associated with my own life. Uh, obviously, the game show uh, I did not participate in, but remembering people's names, uh, recalling certain faces and images, and, you know, bumping into certain friends who, you know, we didn't have a pen at the time. Uh, definitely associate those with real life. And a lot of the improvements and the techniques I have learned from uh, Kenneth Higby's book, Your Memory, How It Works and How to Improve It. And the uh-ohs, um, definitely from my personal life when it comes to uh, stress.